The next question is explain the concepts of voltage amplifier, current amplifier, trans conductance amplifier and trans resistance amplifier using Thevenin's or Norton's equivalent circuit. Okay, so in your question, four types of amplifier. So this four types of amplifier categorization is done basically by means of the four parameters that is the input voltage, input current, output voltage and output current. Okay. So in the case of voltage amplifier, the input and the output is going to be voltage. Okay, input is also your voltage, output is also your voltage. So in case if there is voltage as your parameter, then you will go for Thevenin's equivalent circuit. If there is current as the parameter, then it, you will go for Norton's equivalent circuit. So if for the first case, your voltage amplifier, the input and the output is VI. That is input voltage and output voltage. Both are your voltage parameters. So your voltage gain will and it is given by your voltage gain. Gain is your voltage gain. Gain is equal to output divided by input, right? So both are voltage. AV is equal to V0 divided by VI. So in the case of current amplifier, your input current amplifier means your gain will be AI. Okay. AI will be is equal to I0 divided by II. Means what? Both the input and the output parameters are your current. So current gain is equal to output current divided by input current. So since the both the parameters is your current, what will be your circuit? It will be Norton's equivalent circuit both in the input and the output side. Whereas in the case of transconductance amplifier, it is the opposite of your resistance, right? So in this case, your transconductance is represented by GM. GM is equal to I divided by V. So what is your resistance? V is equal to IR, right? So R is equal to V by I. Opposite of resistance is your transconductance. So it is current divided by your voltage. What current? Output current. Gain is always equal to output divided by input, right? So output current divided by input voltage. So in your output, you will be having Norton's equivalent circuit. In your input, you will be having Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So it is a combination of Thevenin's and Norton's equivalent circuit. Whereas in the case of trans resistance amplifier, your gain is represented as GM is equal to V by I, right? R is equal to V by I. So what, will, what is your voltage? Output voltage divided by input current. In your output, you will be having Thevenin's equivalent circuit and your input, you will be having Norton's equivalent circuit. So these are the basic classification. Now, uh, you have to, how will you draw or uh, draw the equivalent circuit? So in the case of uh, input side, you have in the case of voltage amplifier, input and output is your voltage, right? So in your input, you will be having Thevenin's equivalent circuit. Thevenin's equivalent circuit means a voltage source in series with that of your resistor. And Norton's equivalent circuit means a current source in parallel with that of your resistor. So your source is going to be your voltage, right? So voltage in this case, voltage source in series with that of your resistor, RS, source resistance. And this dotted line will be your amplifier. So input resistance of your amplifier. And in your output also, it is your Thevenin's equivalent circuit, right? So voltage source in series with that of your resistor. Along with that, in the network, you'll be having your load resistance RL. So this will be, so what will be your uh, output voltage? Output voltage V0 is equal to, from this, can you calculate output voltage? V0 is equal to AV into VI. That is what written here. Output voltage source is equal to AV into VI, which is written here, okay? So this is your diagram of your voltage amplifier. Now, in the case of voltage amplifier, input and the output is voltage, right? So what will be your, uh, for ideal cases, what should be your value of your input of your amplifier? Input resistance of your amplifier should be very high, that is infinitive. And your output resistance should be equal to zero. Why your output resistance is equal to zero? Because all the entire input voltage, amplified voltage, you should get across your load resistor RL. Okay, that is the reason why you have output resistance is equal to RO is equal to zero. So in practical case, RI will be very, very greater, right? RI is greater than that of your RS. So RI will be greater, greater than RS and RL will be greater than R0 is small, right? Or you can tell that R0 will be less than RL for the practical case. Whereas in the second case, current amplifier, you know that input is Norton and output is also Norton's equivalent circuit. So you have a current source with parallel with that of your source resistor 
and amplifier you will be having your resistance ri where in your output side what you will be getting again it is a Norton's equivalent circuit a current source in parallel with that of your resistor ro right what will be your current source now output current i naught will be equal to ai into ii that is written here ai into ii okay so here what what will be the value now ri is equal to 0 ri will be equal to 0 because there should be no resistance because all the entire current should uh, flow through your amplifier right and your r naught should be infinity what is the reason that r naught should be uh, infinity means r naught should be very very high because all the current should be flowing across your load resistance rl rl will be very very less okay so your practical case ri will be zero in ideal case so practically ri will be very very less than that of your rs and rl will be very very less than that of your r naught okay so all the current will you can draw it from your rl now next one is your transconductance amplifier so what is your transconductance amplifier the input is your thevenin's equivalent circuit and output is your norton's equivalent circuit right so in pins input you have a voltage source with the resistor rs ri so it is similar to that of your first case in the input side so you will be having ri will be infinitive whereas in the output is your norton's equivalent circuit this will be similar to that of your current amplifiers output right so in the output you output is your current right so you will be having r naught will be very very high so all the current will flow through your rl okay so that is the this is the uh, this is your diagram of your transconductance amplifier and the last one is your trans resistance amplifier what is the trans resistance difference your input is going to be your current and output is going to be your uh, voltage so input is not an output is thevenin so input is your current output is your thevenin sequence circuit so what will be your uh, input side you will be having your current source in parallel with that of your um, resistor rs so it will be similar to that of your first case second case right so ri will be equal to zero and ri practical case ri will be very very less than rs whereas in the output side it is your voltage source what will be your voltage source what will be your v naught rm into is that is what written here rm into is or you can this is the overall gain or your ii in the amplifier it becomes your ii voltage uh, that is your current ii right rm into ii and you have your output resistance r not in series that this gives your thevenin's equivalent circuit along with your load resistor so what is your value for your r not here r not should be equal to zero only then you will be getting the entire voltage across your rl right so practically rl will be greater than greater than r so these are the important concepts of your four types of amplifiers depending on the four parameters.